Um, so we're in section 12.4 today using similar triangles. And the whole concept on today's lesson is triangles are similar if they have two pairs of congruent angles. What does it mean for angles to be congruent? They're the same measure. Okay, so sometimes it's easy to tell and sometimes it's not so easy to tell. Well, in the first slide, and you've already written these down, you're given all three angle measures. And you guys can tell that all three of them are the exact same measure. So even though they're different sizes, we know that they are similar. Okay, now in the next examples, some of the angle measures are missing, but we can still verify as soon as we have two pairs that are equal, we know the third pair is automatically equal. For example, if two angles in a triangle are, let's say, 100 degrees and 50 degrees, based on what we know to be the sum of the angle measures, if one is 100 and the other one is 50, what does the third one have to be? 30. 30. Okay, 180. 150 and then 30. Okay, so if... Two, uh, if, the, if on two different triangles they're both 100 and 50, the third one has to be 30. You don't even have to do the math, okay, because they have to equal 180. So that's why we say if there are two pairs congruent, the third pair is all automatically going to be the same measure. All right, and it's unnecessary to do all three. So that's what I use to verify. Are these triangles similar? And the explanation, guys, is do they have two, con two pairs of congruent angles or not? If they do, it's similar. If they don't, then it's not. And it's as simple as that. It really is, okay? <coughs> but sometimes it's a little more obvious than others. Let's look at the first one. You do not have to draw these triangles, okay? Let's just look through the triangle and look at the angle measurements. We have, same with me, 75 we have 50, and then we have, X. don't know, X. So let's look at the second triangle. We have Y, don't know it, then what? 75, 75 50. and 50. So because the two angles that were given, they're both the exact same. There's my two pairs. So whatever the third one is in the first triangle, the third one's going to be the same thing in the second triangle. Okay, it has to be because they have to equal 180. Does that make sense? So if I have two pairs of congruent angles, then I'm good. They're similar. So I would say yes because, you can abbreviate because, we have two pairs of congruent angles. Okay, and you can list them. Um, 75 degrees and um, 75 degrees and 50 degrees, okay? And, and that's clear. Now, look at the second one. Look at the second set. We have X. <coughs> what does that box mean? 90, 90 and 42. On the second triangle, we have Y. What is that box? 90 degrees. And 38. So as it is right now, I don't have enough information. I know for sure that I have one pair, right? Which pair do I know for sure? 90 degree. The two 90 degree angles. Those two boxes mean both triangles have a pair of 90 degree angles. Do you agree? So that's one pair that for sure is the same measure. But now I need to verify, do I have a second pair? So here's how you do it. You need to solve for either X or Y. You do not have to solve both triangles, okay? You just need to solve one of them. We know 42 doesn't match up with 38, but if this one is 38, then I have my two pairs. But is X 38? That's, that's my whole question. Is X 38? If it's not, then they're not going to be similar. All right, so let's test it. 90... <laughs> plus 42 plus x equals 180. What's 90 plus 42? 132 plus x equals 180. Now what do I do? 132 from both sides. 
and x equals 48. 48. Okay? So if x is 48, all right, so again, let's highlight the, the congruent angles. We know that 90, that's my one pair. But do either of these two angles match up with 38? No. no. So it's impossible. Even if I solved for y, guys, even if I solved for y, I don't have two pairs. It's impossible. All right, so I would say no. Because there's only one pair of congruent angles. All right, again, if two pairs are equal, then the third one's automatically going to be equal. All right, you with me? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so now I want you to try one. Right off the bat, do you see any pairs that are the same? <coughs> do, you, do you have any pairs? What did you say? 28. 28. 28. So right now, I know I at least have one pair, but I don't have two yet because this one's 80 and this one's 71. So I have to solve for either X or Y to see if they're going to match up. Okay, so go ahead and do that and see if you can tell whether or not they're similar. Okay, so I solved the bottom one. Did anybody solve the top one? Okay, yeah, so I solved the bottom one. Um, and again, you could do either one. It doesn't matter. So when I solved the bottom one, I did 28 plus 71 plus y equals 180. And then 99 plus y. So then I subtracted 99 and I got 81. Okay, so again, for 81, I had one pair, 28. So I had to have an angle measurement that was 80. I knew it wasn't 71 because I already, I already ruled that out. And 81, is that equal to 80? No. No. Okay. So I'm going to say no. Okay, hold on. Sorry. No, because I don't have two pairs of congruent angles. Again, it all comes back to do you have two pairs of congruent angles or not? If you said you only had one pair... That would be fine as well, but you have to have a reason, and the reason always comes back to, do you have two pairs or not? Okay? You with me? Okay, so the same thing applies for example two. Can you tell? Can you tell if they're similar or not? You have no angle measurements. You have no degrees. You have nothing. All you have is this funny-looking triangle. Do you agree? Okay, so the sequence is important. What I mean by sequence, JKL and JMN, okay? You don't necessarily have to draw this. Just, just watch up here, and it's in your book also. So JKL, I'm going to highlight it. Are you looking up here? JKL. There's my triangle. You agree? Then I have another triangle. J, M, N. Okay? Do you see the smaller triangle inside the bigger triangle? So here's the question. Oh, well, they look similar. Okay, great. But that's not enough. For them to look similar, I have to have some kind of proof, some kind of verification. And it's done because I have these sweet little arrows here. What are those arrows? <coughs> Oops, I just covered it up. What do the arrows mean? Do you remember what I told you and I actually tried to draw them and it was didn't go so well? You guys on? remember what the arrows mean? No. Okay, so here's a reminder. The arrows mean that those two lines are parallel. So do you guys remember what happens when a line intersects two parallel <coughs> lines? It starts with a T. Trans Transversal. Transversal. So I know this looks like a triangle to you. But I also have, okay, are you ready for this? Two parallel lines. So all I'm doing is tracing them right now. Two parallel lines. And look at this. A transversal intersecting the parallel lines. Okay? 
So here's, here's how they word it in your book. They say if you have two parallel sides to the triangle. All right, are you with me? Following along? KL and MN are two parallel sides. Okay? And if I have a side that intersects those two parallel sides, all of my rules about my special angles, my supplementary, my corresponding angles, <coughs> my vertical angles, my alternate interior and alternate exterior angles, they all apply. And remember what I said in the last example. How many angles have to be congruent in order for them to be similar? Two. Two. Okay. Well, I've got one obvious angle that actually is in both triangles. Which angle is in both triangles? No, which angle is in both of them oh, that you see in the sequence? J. Okay, so there's my one that's the same. Angle J, okay, so I'd say angle J is shared, here's my explanation, in both triangles. So there's my first one that's the same, okay, because it's the same exact angle. Okay, then, well, actually, if they're similar, they're all going to be the same. But I do know K and M are what? Are they vertical? Are they supplementary? <coughs> nope. <coughs> nope, they're not. <coughs> they're not right next to each other. Oh, close they are right corresponding. Oh, they're co corresponding. Oh, wow. Okay, they're corresponding. I could. Well, we're not gonna. And K and M, guys. K and M, technically, they're not on the transversal. The transversal is on the bottom. All right. So here's my proof. My proof is that L <coughs> and N are corresponding because they're the ones that lie on that transversal, okay? All right, so my first one, J is shared. My second one, I would say angles L and N are corresponding because Side J N intersects my parallel lines. There actually is a sign for that for parallel lines, but we'll just write them. Parallel sides of what are my parallel sides? Okay, there's my side symbol K L and M N. All right, you say, oh my goodness, Miss Kinder, how in the world am I going to write that explanation? Well, it doesn't have to be perfect, but here's what you need to recognize, okay? If I can get you to the point where you recognize, here's my parallel sides, and I have a side that intersects them, it creates all of my special angle pairs, my corresponding, and then you just have to name it, okay? L and N, they're not supplementary because they're not on the same point. They're not vertical. They're not opposite. They're in the same location, okay? All right, so there's my two pairs of basically of my congruent angles. So yes, okay? My answer is yes. All right, so yeah, I'm going to do a, a big resounding yes, but those are my reasons, all right? Angle J, it's a shared angle. And then L and N are corresponding because of my parallel lines and the side that intersects them. Okay? We're going to do another one. All right. Let's look at this one. Again, can I prove? Stop. Stop that right now. Okay? That's enough. Your body language is really bad right now. All right? Can I prove that I have two congruent pairs of angles? Just look at it. The first one's easy. Okay? Let's look at the two triangles. Okay? Well, what's... Actually, two of them are actually very easy on this one. All right? What do you see that's obvious... Sorry, I'm blocking it. What do you see that's obvious that two angles would be congruent on this one? 
just raise your hand, okay? Isaiah, which two angles here? The two 90-degree angles. The two 90-degree angles. Right there, I can say Q, angle Q, and S, all right, are both 90 degrees, okay? But if that's it, that's not enough because I have to have two pairs. Does anybody else see one that should be pretty obvious? So Which one's pretty obvious? Line. Not the parallel lines, but the parallel lines could play a factor at some point, but I don't actually <coughs> need those. I don't even need the parallel lines on this one. This one's even easier. Is Isaiah the only one? Yes. What do you see? What do you see that might be the same Cross in both of angle. them? No. R. I heard it. I R. Oh, angle R. Angle R is shared here. It's shared. So if it, whatever measure it is in one triangle, it's the same exact measure in the other triangle. So there you go. There's your two pairs. You've got a pair of 90 degrees, and whatever R is <laughs> is going to be the same in both. So angle R is shared. So my answer is yes. All right. So that one was easier than the first one. All right. Prove that two are prove that two are the same. Okay. Is that a little better? Okay. All right. It's gonna take some practice. That's okay. All right. Example three. So you're standing on one side of the river and you're like, hmm, I really want to get across that river, but I wonder how far it's gonna it's gonna be. How many feet it's gonna be. All right, so what I can do is I need to look at this one first, okay, and we actually just did this in the last example. I need to look at this and say, okay, well, if there's a way that I can prove that these triangles are similar, then I can also prove by rule that their side lengths are similar, meaning ratios. So can we look at these angles? Look at how these angles are. And the sequence is important also, so we're going to talk about that in a minute. Let me go ahead and write the sequence. Triangle A, B, C. Okay. Um, and is it similar to triangle uh, D, E, C? D, E, C. We'll talk about the sequence in just a second. All right, so... Can anybody list me, and we're not going to actually write them down, but give me one pair of angles. Again, we've got to prove two to prove they're similar. Give me one pair of angles that's similar. Uh, Kennedy. Oh, the two right angles. The two right angles, B and E. There we go. we got one pair, but we need two to prove these triangles are similar. Miles, what's C. my second one? C, <coughs> why? Because they're intersecting. Because it's shared. C is shared. Whatever it is on one triangle, it's going to be the same measure on the other triangle. So awesome. Perfect. I have now proven that these are similar triangles. So because they are similar, their ratios will be um, basically the same. All right. One's bigger and one's smaller. That's okay. Their ratios will be the same. So I can put my first triangle, ABC, into a ratio. It does not matter if you do 60 over 50 or 50 <coughs> over 60 on the first one. Just the second one has to match up, okay? Doesn't matter. You can do either one. All right, so I'm going to do 60 over 50. Which side is 60? Name the side. No, no, no. Name the side. The side is AB, okay? What order does A, B come in the sequence over here? What order does it come in the sequence? First and second, okay? So the sequence of the other triangle will follow suit. So the first and second side in the sequence, so that means the first and second side in the second sequence is the matching one. So D, E has the X, okay? You see that? That's how you're going to match it up. If you try to eye that, you're not going to get it, okay? You're going to be like, how do I flip this triangle around so it kind of matches the same direction? It gets really confusing. Follow the sequence, okay? So because AB was 60, and that's the first two letters in the sequence, I'm going to follow DE to match up my X on the top. All right, that's make or break, guys. All right, if you get them in the wrong location, it's going to be wrong. 
All right, so if it's X, now I'm going to follow the same thing, okay? So then it's BC, okay? And BC was 50, which was the second and third in the sequence. So then I follow EC, which was 40. 40. So I put that on the bottom. All right, so 50 times X is 50X. And 60 times 40 is 2,400. Okay, divide both sides by... 50 and 48. x equals 48. And what's my label? Feet. Feet. Okay. Whew. You guys are just now expert campers and hikers now. <coughs> if you can prove similar triangles, like you can find a tree or something. I don't know. Um, okay. That's how we do it, guys. And that is the end of chapter 12.